Hello loves, thanks for joining me and tuning in. This is part two of my sacred geometry, what does it actually do and how does it help us in our life? on how sacred geometry actually helps us in our lives and I did four in my last video which is part one so I'll put the link down below so have a watch of that as well really um, really good pieces of information in there but so this is part two and I'm going to give you three more bits of info that will help your journey with sacred geometry so um, Number five, tip number five, is that it allows us to access our ancient cellular wisdom. Um, so this is a really powerful piece of information. Basically, we have a lot of information stored in our DNA, in our cellular structure. So, and it, it's been lying dormant for a very long time now and sacred geometry actually reactivates it and so it helps us remember our ancient past and the ancient wisdom of where we came from and by understanding that and knowing that and you know just accepting it and being like, wow, you know, <laughs> um, that can lead us to, that will lead us to a bigger and brighter future overall, because until we know our history, we can't fully progress. So, you know, a lot of our history has been covered up, especially like the more advanced side of our ancient civilizations on earth. So, I mean, what we were told is that there was no sort of, it was all cavemen and, you know, <laughs> yeah, they didn't have many tools and whatever, whatever, whatever. But really, there have been ancient advanced civilizations here on earth and they have been more intelligent than us um, but we haven't been taught that so sacred geometry by working with it and having it helps you and activates your cellular wisdom your ancient cellular wisdom that is lying dormant in your DNA so number six Sacred geometry connects us with our higher selves and so we can access the higher dimensions. So what this means, if I break it down to you like this, basically symbolism is the language of consciousness so everything in our consciousness is a symbol of one thing or another and when you start working with and using and enjoying these pure symbols of sacred geometry which are mathematical geometrical patterns you're then uplifting yourself and you're more heard you're more seen should I say you're more seen on from the higher levels 
from the higher planes, from the beings on the higher planes. So they're more, they have more of a connection with you because you're raising yourself up to connect with them. Because if you're on a, a lower frequency, a lower level, and you're not using symbols like these, you're using, you know, just average symbols, they're not as likely to be aware of you. But the more you become aware of them, the more they are aware of you. So, <laughs> it's funny, right? Um, yeah, so, it brings you um, into the higher frequencies, onto the higher dimensions. So what does this do to your life? How does this benefit your life? When we move into the higher frequencies, the higher dimensions, there is not there is not that that lack of anything. We realize the truth and we're more able to see the truth. We're able to see that everything is connected. Everything is equal. Everything is one. We can see that through sacred geometry. Just through the way, just for looking at it, you know, you can see that everything is part of the whole. Um, okay, number seven, last one. Sacred geometry is like a feedback loop. So it helps our body to regenerate to regenerate ourselves because our body naturally regenerates ourselves every 11 months and science has now proved this, this is fact. Every 11 months all of our cells are completely regenerated. They used to think it was every 7 years but then they did it again and now it's 11 months. So you know, it could just be getting shorter and shorter and we're a new person every day, you know. <laughs> um, but yeah, so sacred geometry acts as a feedback loop because it's the geometry of space-time. It actually helps us to um, to feed the information back into the space-time continuum, so we can regenerate and re-energize ourselves through that, and so our bodies don't run down, they don't grow old, they don't get ill, they don't, you know, disintegrate, like, you know, you're either growing or you're not. So, yeah, they've been my seven tips, seven pieces of information of what sacred ge geometry actually does for us and how it can benefit us in our lives. So I've still got more information to tell you, there'll be more videos on different aspects of sacred geometry. So I hope you've enjoyed and have a beautiful day. Namaste loves.